Theno Belfan. Dear sir, I'm a physician and I was wondering if fullerenes can revolutionize medicine in terms of drug delivery systems by its unique properties. My other passion is sport and I wonder if this can be used to make lighter records. Well, C60, I think if it is used in the near future in medical applications, there will be two reasons. And one will be the fact that it is a very good free radical scavenger. So in systems where free radicals are, are not good for in the medical, in, in the body, I think it could be useful there to, to tie them up. Um, but the one that looks likely to be most interesting, hasn't been really solved, will be the fact that C60 is a cage and it can trap atoms inside physically. So they're in there, not chemically, but physically. So if they're inside the cage, then they're separated. And say if they're toxic, such as uh, radioactive uh, atoms and elements, which may be toxic chemically in the body, you could put them inside the, the cage and they would put probably um, hydroxyl groups around, which would, um, or some groups to make sure that C60 wasn't toxic. But and the atom on the inside um, could be probably um, yeah, use that uh, as uh, for radiation uh, chemo uh, radiation therapy. Um, and if you tag the outside of C60 with a recognition moiety, you could probably tag it onto um, the place where the cancer was. And that seems to be probably one of the most likely future applications of. Um, of C60 in the medical area. And as far as rackets are concerned, well, I've often said that if we can make this bundle of nanotubes, uh, it wouldn't be C60 particularly, but if we can make the bundle of na nanotubes uh, that I'm suggesting, 10 to the 15, about a meter long, you would have an incredibly strong material. And uh, maybe um, if I could make it, I might be able to beat Roger Federer or Nadal with it, uh, but um, they may will certainly be able to make materials with superior uh, tensile properties and very light as well. It would be a, it would definitely be stronger than all rackets that have been made up to now and significantly lighter. The problem, of course, in tennis is that there's also a momentum effect. So a lighter racket is not always uh, all you need. You need some momentum in the head of the racket, so we'll see. But it, it's on the cards using uh, nanotubes in future composite materials, but in this paradigm shifting material where they're all stuck together and you have the coordinated um, properties of the whole thing, that would be interesting.